Welcome to this video in which I'll show you how to create a comfortable hand strap for your French horn. We're going to make a strap that fits over your left hand and holds the weight of the horn through the pinky finger hook. I'm going to describe how I've made several straps to fit different horns, but I must point out that every horn and hand is different, so you may have to modify my design so it works for you. This particularly will be the case if you have small hands that have trouble reaching the valve levers normally without a strap in the way. So with that warning, let's get started. What do you need to make your horn strap? Well, the first thing you need is a child's seat belt cover. This is a soft furry cover that can be attached around a seat belt to stop it rubbing. It's also a perfect size for your horn hand strap. There are a couple of vendors selling these seat belt covers on eBay. The covers that I've been using are 25 centimeters by 13 centimeters. The packs that I buy contain two covers but we only need one which does mean you can experiment with the first strap you make. When you have your covers ordered the next thing you'll need is velcro wrap with velcro hooks on one side and velcro loops on the other. The strap will stick to itself and has no glued side. Wrapping tape is available in hardware stores, including Bunnings here in Australia. Finally, you'll need a pair of scissors and a tape measure. The parts altogether should cost you around 20 Australian dollars and you'll have enough material to make two straps. Start by measuring the circumference of your left hand where the strap will sit. As long as the finished strap has a loop this size, you'll be able to put your hand through it. Now take your roll of Velcro wrapping tape. We're going to start by cutting two strips. The longer strip will be at least 10 centimeters longer than the measured circumference of your hand. If you are to avoid having to cut the seat belt cover down to size, then your strip should be no shorter than 32 and a half centimeters. A word of warning, if your horn doesn't have an adjustable pinky finger hook, then make the strip an extra five centimeters longer because you can always cut off any surplus tape after you've fitted the strap to the horn. Cut a second, slightly shorter length of Velcro tape, about two and a half centimeters shorter than the first piece. Take a seat belt cover and lay it down in front of you on the table with the furry side down and with a row of hooks facing upwards towards you at the bottom. Now, take the shorter Velcro strip and place it across the sleeve cover, leaving about three centimeters of the cover above the strip. The strip should overhang equally on the left and right hand side. When you have the strip positioned across the sleeve, then fold over the top of the sleeve down onto the Velcro strip and press the whole thing firmly together. The hooks on the Velcro strip should stick to the sleeve. Now take the second, the longer strip, and position it across the bottom of the sleeve. And we want the hooks to be on the top of the strip. Place the strip 
over the hooks on the bottom of the sleeve and press the two firmly together. Once you have the strip positioned across the bottom of the sleeve, fold the sleeve over around the Velcro strip. With the top and the bottom of the sleeve folded over Velcro strips, your sleeve should look like this. Now fold the top of the sleeve down over the bottom. This will give you a furry sleeve about five centimeters wide with two Velcro strips sticking out each end. Bend the sleeve in half so that the short Velcro strips are on the inside. Then convert your sleeve into a loop by sticking the short Velcro strips to themselves. You can now fold the outside strips down onto the inner strip. If you've got the design right, the outer strips will stick to the inner strips. Make the outer strip tight enough to stop the sleeve from unfolding. This gives you a lovely soft padded loop that fits easily over your left hand. Start by making a collar of Velcro strip wrapped round your horn tubing just above the finger hook. Make sure that the collar has the hooks inwards and that the furry loop side is on the outside. It should be loose enough to rotate round the tubing. Then slide the collar underneath your finger hook. The padded loop is attached to the collar with a short strip of Velcro. The actual length needed does depend somewhat on the size of the horn tubing and the design of your finger hook. Hold the padded loop with the Velcro strips uppermost and the seam in the furry fabric on your left. Thread the fastening strip through the loop with the hook side uppermost. Leave about five centimeters poking out the right hand side and then press the strips together. Take the short end of the fastening strip and attach it to the collar on the back side of the horn. The hooks on the fastening strip should grip strongly to the furry side on the collar. Take the long end of the fastening strip Pass it through your finger hook. Then wrap the strip tightly round the collar. For security, the strip should go at least one time completely around the horn tubing. Your horn strap is now ready for testing. Put your hand through the loop. Then, holding the horn as you normally play, check the angle of the strap loop. You'll find you can rotate it around the collar without undoing the fastening strip. If you have an adjustable finger hook, you can change the vertical position of the strap by moving the hook. If you have a fixed hook, then use the short and long strips in the padded loop to change its size. Happy and comfortable playing!